here we are at day one, Heroes and Villains. London! Hey, hi. Good morning! So, we're gonna do a little vlog this weekend just to show you what it's like. So, crazy London drivers? Yeah, and that's crazy London drivers for you. So, this is Olympia. This is what you expect at 8 45 in the morning. And we're heading to queue up, and oh my god, that, I can see there's a lot of people. Why is the sun not out? It would make this wait a lot. It better. really would. Okay. But it's not the queue. Long, man. Say hi, Flecky. She's so special. <laughs> Oh, 
we love seeing you guys. It was so good to see you back this season. We're all wondering how you come back, and it was great to have you back on the screen. What was it like for you? Was it emotional? Was it emotional? Absolutely. It was very emotional. Uh, to London. We're currently trying to sleep. Fucking pissing it down. And look at it. It's a bit like being, you know, poltergeist when the television's going off. Oh. I feel like a virgin getting on for the first time. Fucking gushing it down. Ew. <laughs> man. Look. You took it to a place that just went too far. Yeah, the version of piss in parade, literally. Oh. <laughs> are you enjoying your time in London? Yes, I wish I had more time here. How long are you staying? I leave Monday. It's a Wednesday. Okay. If she got here early, she's like already seen it all. I plan to shop again. Yeah. Cool, right. Well, I guess my first question, um, well, before I start, I should say, we have got two microphones by the side. If you have any questions for these lovely ladies, please come and take a pew. Um, but I'll start by asking, right, we've got all these fans here today. Um, I'm a teacher of media studies, and I have fans, uh, fans? I have fans. I have students from... Oh, friends. I have many fans. Uh, oh, students, fans. Yeah. They said friends. I was yeah, like, it's oh, also an echo, so it's hard. It's, yeah, it is hard to hear anything. Um, but yeah, I've got students from South America, I've got students from East Asia, and Every one of them comes in with Riverdale shirts on. Yes. And I want to ask you guys, what do you think makes this show just such a cultural phenomenon right now? You want to go first? Um, well, I always say that there is something for everybody. 
Um, I think the fact that it's a genre show makes it really, and the fact that it's really stylized, makes it a fun time, and it's just a different world that you can escape to, where there's a lot of violence, but there's also milkshakes and, and burgers and pops, and there's just this like contrast between darkness and lightness that I think makes the show just entertaining and fun. We hope it's entertaining, but yeah, it's like a romance, a thriller, a comedy, a love story, murder mystery, so yeah. it's got all of those things going for it. And also all different ages, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Were you fans of the comics before you got cast in the show? I was not. I didn't read them ever. I wasn't. A, I mean, I know, I knew about Archie, Betty, Veronica, Jughead, but I, I wasn't a huge comic book kid. Okay. Um, we've already got loads of people lining up, so we will start off the right. Um, uh, right. Right, over here please. Hi. 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 My name is Nana. Um, I've got a question for each of you, so I'll start with Tammy. Um, we saw the season finale of what happened to Archie. Do you think now um, Veronica's going to be more in touch with her dark side and use it to get revenge on her father? That's a good question. I think Archie getting arrested is going to get Veronica into protective mode. I think she's immediately going to... I think she's going to whip out the fangs, but I also think she's kind of learned from her dad at this point, and she knows how he does business, and I think she's going to use that against him. Um, so it's darkness, but I think it's controlled darkness. I think she's going to gear up for something spectacular. That was a very physical season, and Robin and I talked about this a couple weeks ago. Very physical season for all of you. How do you guys prepare yourselves for all of that? Oh, I think Drew should take this one away. This guy's been working his butt off this year. But I'll tell you, I, I, I will say, uh, so uh, you may or may not know that as actors, we're usually the last to know about anything. Um, and certainly that was the case. Uh, I, I mean, I knew about running, but we didn't know how it was going to take place. And so it was about seven weeks to shooting. Uh, John Stevens, the, the head writer there, was like, uh, so listen, so the, the scene is, you're coming out of the swamp naked. And I said, well, I, it sounded like you said naked. Pretty sure that's not true. It's like, well, you know, naked for Fox, whatever Fox will let us do. So I immediately called the trainer. <laughs> Right, it's the best motivator you'll ever have, and, uh, and it was important for me because we don't have, you know, we're, it's not a CGI thing, it's not as if we can get in a silicone suit, like Hellboy or whatever, you know, this was going to be the gothic real version, so uh, I worked as hard as I could, uh, which the working out part was the hardest, the not eating part is the hardest, still is.
Um, and it changes that I get to have a different iteration of the character or to, um, I don't know, feel inspired in a different way. Um, I mean, he, he was a terrible person, um, but he was the hero of his own story, wasn't he? You have to sort of don't lie, Aisha. I get my soul on Instagram. No, it was a uh, it was really fantastic. I loved it. Um, I'm glad that he's dead, but I really enjoyed playing it. Thank you. So, I've literally just gotten through the door from Heroes and Villains. Wow, it's been an absolutely incredible weekend. I can't believe it's gone like that. It's gone so quick. But I've had such an amazing weekend. Met so many awesome guests, plenty of awesome photos, and it was just a great, great weekend all around. This just kind of sucks it's over now. But we'll have some well deserved sleep. I'm gonna unpack all my shit, and then I'll do a proper extensive video about the weekend. But for now, this is just a quick vlog. Could not fall with this year. Like, obviously, this is the second year, it went a lot, a lot better. Uh, the photos were awesome, the panels were great this year, and just all the guests were just really freeing down to earth. Made some awesome memories. I'm gonna take time to process this, and then I'll make a proper video talking about my experience of the weekend.